This is the Sigmund CD80 laser distance meter with a protractor. It's a small, compact and lightweight laser measuring tool that has enough features to make it really useful and affordable. At the time of recording this video, you can buy this tool from the Sigmund website for around $100 Australian with free shipping. So full disclosure, Sigmund sent me this unit to review, but they didn't have any say in how I tested it, nor did they have any input into this video. But I do get to keep it, which is nice because this little unit can be very handy, as you'll see. It ships in a simple cardboard box and the tool is housed in this little black pouch. The tool also comes with a lanyard, USB-C cable and a manual. And you can see straight away just how compact it is, making this very easy to handle. It fits easily into the palm of my hand. The materials are mostly plastic, plus the inclusion of this anodized aluminium corner piece, which you use to bear up against surfaces when taking measurements. There's a USB-C port on the same side as the laser for charging, and all in all the build quality is actually very solid. It doesn't feel cheap in any way. The 2.4 inch color screen is super bright and it's easy to read, although it's not a touch screen. And I think a non-touch screen here is quite okay because the three buttons allow you to operate the tool very easily and the buttons have a very solid feel with a nice tactile clickiness to them. Now, as I mentioned, it also comes in very light at just 125 grams. The measuring features include length, area, volume, uh, Pythagorean or triangular, uh, angle, which is the inclinometer, a level and a continuous tape measure, plus a hidden feature that I found. Now keep in mind this tool has no app integration, which also makes it simpler and probably more affordable. One side is also magnetized, making it easy to stick to a metallic surface or to bear up against some other kind of reference point or reference tool. Now by going into settings, you can change the units, whether the laser measures from the front or the back of the tool, you can access the recorded measurements, turn the beeper on and off, enable or disable the screen rotation, set the timer, and calibrate the angle measurement. The screen rotation works very well. It's not quite as smooth as your smartphone, but it's totally adequate. And again, the screen resolution is excellent and easy to read. And for a tool at this price, the screen really is very good. It measures from 50 millimeters up to 80 meters, which is quite a wide range. Now, you do need to be careful about how useful you think that might be because 50 millimeters is easily measured with a ruler, and at 80 meters, well, you can't see the dot anymore. But for measuring rooms, interior spaces, cabinets, stuff like that, the tool works really quite well and the laser is easy to see. But what about accuracy? It claims to have an accuracy of this, which I'm not really quite sure how to interpret. But let's go with plus or minus three millimeters for most measurements that you'd probably make. I set up this simple rig to measure a 600 mil distance. Now again, you have to be careful here because you're trying to check a digital laser tool with an analog tape, which is kind of problematic. But you can see here that I was consistently getting 601 or 602, sometimes 603 using this simple test, which does fall into the range, but you would expect it to be spot on. Now I also tested this on a longer setup of five meters. And this adds a bit more difficulty because I'm not working at the bench and aiming the laser over the longer distance is a bit more tricky. And in this test, I managed to consistently get about 5,001 millimeters, which is more than acceptable for this kind of measuring. I suspect that if it needed to be as accurate as possible, you'd probably use a tape and a second person or spend more time setting up the laser and maybe using the timer, which I'll come back to. Now, I think a tool like this is most useful for taking quick measurements that would otherwise be a bit awkward. For example, to get the area of a room, Simply select the area function, then take two quick measurements wall to wall, and you get a result. And if you need this to be super accurate, then you'd take more time. But for a quick reference that's also accurate enough, then, well, this will work well. Likewise, you can set the tool to measure volume, and within a few button presses, you get the volume of a room. And this could be handy for things like planning for air conditioning or air circulation or ventilation, particularly in larger spaces. The level and bubble features are particularly useful. You can see that the level is actually working all the time, but you can also select it. I think this display is quite innovative and it makes it easy to see exactly which way the laser is leaning or tilting. The bubble feature is also clear and easy to read. The bubble moves around smoothly and appears to react to movements quickly and in real time. Now, what about the triangulation feature? Well, it works and I have no doubt it's accurate, but it depends on how accurate you need it to be and how still you can actually hold the laser. I set up this test where the mark on this garage door is 2,120 millimeters from the ground and the distance back from the base is five meters. Now there are two things to keep in mind. Firstly, 
it's hard to keep the laser still when you're using it by hand. And secondly, when you tilt the laser, you're moving the reference point from where the laser is measuring from. And in this case, I'm not sure I can actually call these measurements accurate. Although, if you just wanted a rough guide using a quick measure of a point that might be difficult to reach, then this could be okay. One way to get around this issue for length-only measurements is to use the countdown timer. And if you've got shaky hands or you can't hold the tool still when pressing the button, you can use the timer to take the measurement after three or five seconds, and that's useful. The tape measure feature also provides a continuous measurement when aimed at an object, and it shows the measurement graphically as if you were using a tape. Now, I found this wasn't as successful as I thought it might be. I found that the screen didn't update as smoothly as I'd expected, so in this case, well, I'd probably just use a physical tape. Now, there is also a hidden feature that I found by accident that I couldn't see documented in the manual. If you hold down the measure button, the timer starts for 30 seconds, and then the tool records the minimum and maximum distances recorded during that time. I have no idea what I'd use this for, but it's kind of interesting. So what do I think of the Sigmund CD80? Well, it's not as feature-rich as some of the other laser distance meters I've tried, but it's also a lot less expensive, and I think that the features you do get easily justify the price. Some of the features I found to be less helpful, like the tape measure, and the triangulation feature does require some thought and setup to get something anywhere near usefully accurate. But for the build quality, compact size, high-resolution screen, and feature set that it comes with, I reckon this is a pretty good option if you're looking for a laser distance meter. I think for me personally, the most useful features will be the level and inclinometer, and then the simple distance and area measurements. I'd be really interested to know how other people use tools like this. Let me know in the comments section below. There's a link in the description if you'd like to know more about the CD80 and how to buy one. And if you found this helpful, then please hit the like button, leave a comment, and consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.